Hi guys, Lee from Overbike Gaming here, and Blizzard. What the fuck are you doing? I mean, last year you had this big hoo-ha about taking your core fan base and delivering upon them in your beneficence a mobile version of Diablo. Which annoyed a lot of people, and then made it worse, obviously, by taking the piss out of people that asked if it was a joke and if it was coming to PC. Do you not have phones? That whole deal. But, you know... Things can only get better, right? This year's BlizzCon can't possibly be as worse. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, those of you that don't know, uh, a Hearthstone player named Blitzchung, Blitzchung uh, basically had an interview after his match and supported uh, the Hong Kong protesters. Now, what's going on in Hong Kong is China wants to enact basically laws where they can extradite them and basically put them in re-education camps and stuff like that whenever they want, which sucks. Absolutely sucks. There's no call for it. And they have not gone ahead with it as of yet, uh, but they have arrested people that were protesting. So the protests are ongoing now because they want those people released. And Blitz Chung supported that. And Blizzard's reaction to do this outcry for, for democracy and justice was to ban him for a year and steal his winnings. And not only that, but the two poor shoutcasters that were interviewing him uh, were also banned for a year. It's like, bye job, bye bye. Okay. Obviously, this did not go over well with the internet or, you know, anybody with a brain. I mean... The, they are doing it because China is such a huge market and is very reactionary. Uh, the guy, the, the president or the premier, whatever he is, um, actually banned Winnie the Pooh because he was likened to him. Because that that's what you do. You don't say, oh, well, Winnie the Pooh's a bit lovable. Maybe I should engender this. No, you just fucking ban him. Why not? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this world is nuts. Um, anyway... So, big old hoo-ha. Blizzard have responded. And in fairness to them, they have reduced the ban for all three people to six months and are returning Blitz Chung's winnings. Sounds reasonable. Not really, because he did nothing wrong. Uh, they are basing it on a very broad terms of service that they have where they can just say, if we don't like what you say, we can ban you. Pretty much. Uh, they did respond to, obviously people up in arms and this is what they said the specific views expressed by Blitzchung were not a factor in the decision we made i want to be clear our relationships in china had no influence on our decision we have these rules to keep the focus on the game and on the tournament to the benefit of a global audience and that was the only consideration in the actions we took if this had been the opposing viewpoint delivered in the same divisive and deliberate way we would have felt and acted the same Sounds reasonable, in, until you look at what they tweeted at the Chinese audience uh, previously. And I will read the translations while it's popping up on screen for you. Uh, we are very angered and disappointed at what happened at the event and do not condone it in any way. We also highly object this, I guess, to the spreading of personal political beliefs in this manner. Effective immediately, we've banned the contestant from events and terminated work with the broadcasters. We will always respect and defend the pride of our country. Oh, well, that doesn't sound like it completely pisses over what you just said there. Anyway, this story continues. Apparently, people are unable to cancel their uh, Battle.net accounts because people were over this, and Blizzard obviously realized that. And also, they were having an Overwatch unveiling in New York City with Nintendo. And Nintendo have just had to tweet out and say it's been canceled. Blizzard have canceled it. Probably because they expect to get protested back to the Stone Age. Deservedly so. Mm. But, of course, we've got BlizzCon coming up in a little bit. And there are already groups planning on protesting that event. It's going to be very interesting what they do because, I mean, it's not going to go well. I, I mean, they may, I mean, I can't imagine they'll cancel because they've been selling tickets. Yeah, it's not going to go well. You're going to have people turning up in gas masks and uh, red t-shirts and all sorts and just basically taking the piss. They're just going to be shouting down people, I suspect. It's going to be 
well, given their actions, tremendously fun to watch, I think would be the best way of putting it. I just can't believe that I, I know that China's a huge market and everybody's gearing towards them. Like movies are getting set in China that, that wouldn't normally have been. And, you know, a lot of these gaming companies are owned or at least partly owned by big Chinese companies like Tencent. Tencent has a large stake in Epic Games. Uh, Tim Sweeney has come out and said, oh, we never do this. And then you just sat there going, oh, I don't know about that. I think you might you might bow down to to the paymasters, but Tim Sweeney always talks a load of rot anyway. I mean, <laughs> Epic Store's the savior of the PC gaming, apparently. I don't know what. But yeah, I mean, it was a toss. I was going to talk about Ubisoft, and then I kind of like looked at this as well, and I was like tossing them up, and I'm just like, what outrages me more? A company having over the top microtransactions because like that doesn't ever happen, or a company that just fucking ruins a guy, well, three guys, just because of their political opinion. I mean, if you're going to have them on there, and, like, one of their main factors is, like, every voice matters. That's one of their company stances, and it's just ridiculous. It's like every voice matters until we don't like what you're saying. It would have been different if it had been hate speech, but it wasn't. It's fine. Let it go. You should have just let it go on, not responded just let it go and then you know worry about the chinese aspect if they came after you after that which they may have done in fairness but ugh, it's just i don't know what blizzard are doing nowadays i mean ever since the activision merger it just seems like no the blizzard employees are equally displeased with what's happened uh they actually covered up that part of the company logo on uh, a statue in their lobby they covered it over because obviously it's not the case and well done them an american team of hearthstone players um held up a sign supporting uh hong kong as well nothing happened to them i think once been twice shy might be the case there but it's just uh, can't we just play games and, like, not have to censor each other for what we fucking believe? Can't we, can't we just do that? It's like, you're not saying this, Blizzard. It, it didn't come out of your mouth. Yes, it came out of an interview that you conducted, but my God. Have you, have you seen interviews and the shit that comes out of them? Uh, it's just, I, I just despair at the state of the world, basically. In, like, China... Come on. Come on. I love your food. Don't make me hate you. God, come on. You have some very hot women. You know. <laughs> let's let's just chill. It's Winnie the Pooh's fine. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, the guy looks like him a little bit. But like let let's just chill out and love. You've got a massive population, a massive industry. You're doing well. Let's let's just try and not be assholes, yeah, please. Because you kind of like making the rest of the world go. Oh my God, China, what are you doing now? Ugh. Anyway, guys, hope you found today's video informative. I'll have some Hearthstone footage that I recorded on my original channel. Ooh, so many years ago that was. Um, and we'll have that going. I'll put up the relevant screenshots and stuff of the things I've been talking about. But, oh, it's just, you just have to shake your head sometimes and say, my God, the world we live in. NBA as well. Uh, they, uh, one tweet from one of the coaches and basically China's like, yep, fuck off NBA, go away. It's like, what? C come on. Jesus Christ. Knee jerk reaction march. Ugh very depressing anyway guys i hope you found today's video informative I, I i just really want to give my opinion on this and just throw it out there because it's just so baffling to me um i mean you're welcome to chime in down below obviously but uh i'm not really going to ask you a question because i don't think there are any questions to be asked it's just a sucky situation that should not have happened but blizzcon should be a laugh anyway so there's that anyway guys Take it easy. Don't forget we release videos Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I'll catch you later.